Okay, so this is uh, the end of chapter 6 here, just about. I'm on page 255, the reteaching. Uh, and the very first set, set A here, it says use mental math to find each quotient. <clears throat> There's actually two problems I want you to do for these, because I've added something here. And I've done the first one for you. What I do want you guys to do is to copy this down on each one. So this is and 10 times... Uh, to the first power, and 10 times squared, and 10 times 100, and uh, times 10 to the first, and times 10 here, and and times 10 to the third. So uh, copy those down. And here's what I want you to do. So the first problem here, it's 34.6 divided by 10 to the first power. And all of you should know by now, I would hope, that you know that 10 to the first power, that equals 10. And 10 squared, you should know, is 100. And 10 cubed, you know that equals 1,000. You guys should know those by now. And I don't think it's in any of these problems, but I'll ask anyways, if you saw um, 10 with an exponent of 0, who remembers what that would be? Ms. Pettit? 1. Yeah, this is going to be 1. And anything with an exponent of 0 would be, would be 1. That's kind of hard to read on that pink sheet. But anyways, um, so this first problem here, it's 34.6 divided by 10. Anything that's divided by 10 you're going to move the exponent, in this case, it's 34.6. If that's divided by 10 to the first, or just 10, you're going to move the decimal uh, one place to the left, because the number is becoming smaller. So the answer is, and I put it right here, 3.46. The decimal moves over one place, and it becomes 3.46. Four, six. Now, if I was to multiply, and this is what I did in the second one that I had you guys copy all these ones in blue down. The second part of the problem is, and what is 34.6 times 10 to the first power? So I'll write down here 34.6 times 10 to the first power, or times 10. Um, in this case, you're moving the decimal one place to the right. The number becomes larger. And I wrote it down here. The answer, the second answer, is 346 right here in the corner. Okay, that's the answer to the blue one here. Okay. And this here, the answer to that is right there. So and I have a semicolon between each one. So for number two, you're going to put the answer to 6,483 divided by 10 squared right here. Then you're going to put a semicolon. And then you're going to put the answer to uh, n times 10 squared right here. And you're going to do that with 1 through 6 here. Hopefully you guys understand that. If you don't, I'll explain it again when I'm done with the video for those of you that need it. All right, um, down at the bottom of set B here, it says use compatible numbers. So, um, gosh, the first one here, uh, you know, I would change this to 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Uh, number 2, Oh, yeah, I think I would just call that 50 divided by, well, it's a stretch to 10, but, you know, again, when we're using compatible numbers, when we're estimating, um, I'm not quite sure how, um, how accurate they want us to be. There's multiple correct answers, but I think that would be easiest, and that would also be 5. Um... I think I would call this 120 divided by, how about 12, yeah. And, oh, this, maybe 30. 
divided by, what do you think? Ten. Yeah, I think 10 would be reasonable. And uh, how about uh, 80 divided by, I think I would call that 4. And what is this pretty close to? Miss Robinson, you had your hand up. No, oh, look at it. No, I'm talking about right here, honey. Uh, uh, Miss Thornburg, what's it pretty close to? One. Yeah, one. So in this, we could just call it 28. Well, 28 divided by one, what's that going to be? 28. Okay. So you guys can finish those off and copy those down later if you need to get them all. Let's turn to page. I'm at the top of page 256. Looks like we're at set C here. Use estimation. You know what? I'm not worried about um, one, two, three, and four, but I do want you guys to do five. And uh, I'll let you figure that one out on your own. And same thing here with set D. Uh, I'm not, well, let's see here. Um, no, you guys can do all those, and five. So you can do all those. And then I'm on page 257, set E. Uh, use estimation to check for reasonableness. Um, yeah, you guys can do those, one through 10. And look at this first one here. This first one, it's really easy. I even heard a couple of you just now mutter it. 6.4 divided by 3.2. Who knows what the answer would be just by looking at that? Uh, uh, Mr. Andreessen. Yeah, it's 2. 3.2 twice is 6.4. So some of these you might be able to just do in your head. So it's 1 through 10 here. Uh, let's do, uh, plan on doing the rest of this maybe tomorrow in class. And um, yeah, so there's your homework all the way to set E, page 257.